Well, good after the noon. Today is Friday the something, I think it's the last Friday of January. Um, just want to do a quick update on my wife. Uh, we went and saw one of the cancer doctors last Wednesday and uh, they're getting her, uh, that was a consultation on the clinical trial. Um, uh, da, 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 T, T, T.M. Anderson? No. Da, da. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting, I think I'm getting the name mixed up with an author that I'm aware of. Anyways, Anderson down in Houston um, denied her because of out-of-state um, Medicaid. And uh, Chicago is in the process of doing paperwork to get past the out-of-state Medicaid. Meanwhile, one of her doctors um, in the circle of cancer doctors that she sees has a clinical trial coming up. And if we understood him right, it was the same one that Northwestern in Chicago was gonna do. So he handpicked her to uh, have this clinical trial done. There are uh, 15 people that are able to do this. There. There are multiple multiple places in the world that does clinical trials. Um, somehow I got my wires crossed uh, several months ago um, and said that there was only three places in America. Um, what I misunderstood was that only three people in America at a time, for whichever one they was talking about, could be on the trial as it is right now with the one that she is going to be doing only three people in the world can be uh, in this trial at the same time and the reason is uh, because they have to wait and see if there are going to be uh, side effects and is it going to work and if everything goes well then they can move on from there so uh, they picked her to she's number five out of 15 so we have to go down uh, next Wednesday to sign the papers. If today, if last, I don't know what today is. Well, I don't know how to figure that out on my phone with it's videoing. So it's the end of January anyway. Tomorrow is Saturday. Uh, then the other thing is um, my brother Andy suffered a massive stroke. It started out a mini stroke. My mom took him into um, ER because he was not feeling well at all. And at that point, had no idea what was going on. He, was, he just thought he was really sick. That would have been last Saturday. Uh, boy, just all these events happening. I can't, I can't even know what's going on. He had this massive stroke. They uh, cut the base of his skull open to let his brain uh, breathe and come out. And it, they said it was so swollen that it came out. Um, also, where this happened in his brain, it won't cause any um, paralysis or slurred speech. So uh, that right there was great news. Um, today, this morning, they started to wake him up slowly. They're going to take it really slow, but he was able to uh, squeeze the nurse's hand and uh, and move his feet. So he's he's wiggling his left and right fingers and his uh, toes and foot. So uh, so far so good. The swelling's down. They said his brain looks good and. Uh, he, of course, is on a ventilator, and uh, we'll just go from there. So any prayers for my brother Andy would appreciate it, be appreciated. And uh, it, it just seems like every time we turn around, someone else has suffered a heart attack, a stroke, has gotten cancer, and I mean, it is just one person after the other. So anyway, that's where we're at. And uh, right now, I'm just in the garage here uh, messing around trying to make sense of my workspace 
and I've got, I think, six, seven or eight chainsaws listed on eBay, and I took the the Chinese knockoff one to the auction. We'll see how that goes out there. And the snow is melting. We've got our midwinter thaw, so that's always welcome. Doesn't mean it's over. So that's that's what's going on here anyway. So uh, I will do an update sometime again when something changes. So hope everybody's having a good one. We'll talk to you later.